According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique de Nalise Cottage. That is the... I mean, I don't know. Like, if we, tell you, we, we talked about if Nouvellet could transform into his full mode, something else has to happen first. <laughs> The Hydro are coming to be punished by uh, the death sentence. Something else has to happen first in order for him to transform. You and I both know that well, this there area, I don't know what with the primordial sea. Everyone on the street who happened to be close to the water didn't have there's, a chance to escape. There's the tower. As the water levels rose, they suddenly disappeared. Shouldn't gods be all powerful? Not this one. Ah, uh, yes, the good old Oratrice Mechanique de Annelise Cardinale. What's done is done. Just... And I didn't know what was happening here. I guess that's just like her idol. Trust me, you're Archon. Never mind whether you can truly convince yourself to or not. I will say, though, Charlotte had the better song. Charlotte had the better song. I'm sorry, Farina. Show me it. And she has the like the Dory kind of a spin attack there. I don't know what's going on here, but and the alties are really cool. Remember this actually on top of that tower? Oh yeah, with 100 percent. With 100 percent, and this was interesting too. Charlotte has like the literal taking pictures of the tax. I know you're not a local, but I and kind of like Nahida. I almost freaked out here too. I thought like it was going into the next character, and it showed Navia, and I was like, "Wait, we're getting three? I'd avoid getting too close to any water that looks strange. All the same, there's Navia's dead too. About it. Well, the water, I mean. Satellite army and for <laughs> That's the main focus. The prophecy. Oh, he had 160 saved up. Yes. What has been prophesized will be fulfilled. I, Farina. And then wait, yeah, who was that? I mean. The prophecy. Yes. What has been prophesized will be fulfilled. I, Farina, hmm. will use this trial to show the world the true meaning Do of not justice. And this is like a Ugly ocean. It. What is the meaning you would call You have this never been as justice. superficial as you have presented yourself to be. Where is that? No and why should we acknowledge it? So so long. Why did you deceive us? But I, I love how they do like their trailers because there's so many voices and you don't know what's in context of what. So you just you never know. Uh oh, the description. Oh, I, I didn't see that. Somewhere. Oh, of the actual trailer. Nope. Probably another other Freena is the Oratrice so they sacrifice the but the brat Freena must save Fontaine. Probably she acted like the brat because she wanted to enjoy her mating life to the fullest. Remember she cried at Fountain of the Scene. Yeah, I do remember this that. Right. Dang man. If that does, that'll be that'll be pretty extreme. The trial of the Hydro Archon! The this isn't okay. right! Look at Nublet's face. He's actually upset. Oh, he's been upset a lot of times. Just doesn't show it. Shoot, remember. And this is crazy too, man. Like that. That is the face before death. Like that is literally the the final look. This trial. I now understand the true purpose behind this position. If Genshin was rated R, uh, that would have been her head. I now understand the true purpose <laughs> behind this position. Yeah, so I mean, hey, hey, you know, there he is. There he is in his form. You are the whale. Yeah, and it, this looks sick. I was so hoping he was gonna. Oh, that's how it looks. A little delusion. It's in a very interesting spot. <laughs> But yeah, child looks sick at this. Everyone's 
Papa, what should I do? And that person saying, Papa, what should I do? I, I feel like that has nothing to do with the Archon Quest. Everyone. What was the name of the characters who spoke in the trailer? Oh, that's going to be a big help. Who hurt my Farida? Someone should sound familiar. Papa, what should I do? Oh, that probably is Navia. Yeah, you're right. This should be the weekly boss, I'm assuming. Can't wait to fight Chow again. The prophecy again. that you've been fretting over should now be in full swing. And welcome. We have a brand new Hersher Fetting coming to the game. Should now be in full swing. Or brand new Hersher. It's the, it's the next chapter. It's Honkai Impact 2. But no, that was a... Uh, Definitely a, a super hype moment. At first, I had to think about it, but I literally was like lost for words at first. Um, supposedly, it's been in talks. Like I, I saw on Twitter, there's like different designs they were working with, and at least Twitter wasn't happy with the final design. There was like a bunch of concept art. Um, but yeah, I, I can barely see her in the, in the shot. The justice that belongs to you. All will eventually He's end dancing. in a magnificent and all will eventually end. I don't know if it's just dark or oh wait a second. Wonder why the English VA chose Papa instead of <laughs> I was probably just like voice direction, like the, the the coach or not coach, but the voice director. Well Chadway don't like Genshin mislead us. There are several scenes that might be the world quests and yeah, that, that's that's what they did. They really did that last time. Uh, look in the four point one. Four point one is all chopped up. There's so many parts that are scattered around, which is how you do a trailer to get people hyped. But yeah, it was very good. This trials. Oh yeah, that's true in French. So who is this? I now Isfrina? understand the true purpose behind this position. How about you use the adult female model instead of a teenage model? Uh, oh, oh, I see. Yeah, people people wanted Skirk to be a lot older, or like to look a lot older, like look more abyss, abyssish, abyssage. Um, yeah, I, I I did just catch that just now. That's why I stopped. I did just catch that. I was looking at that. Eventually. I was like, I was asking myself, is that just a shading, like a certain angle? But no, I think that's just black pants or pants, black shorts versus the white shorts. I was like, hold on, what's going on? What's going on here? That's, that was a good detail to catch. Um, no man outside of Madame Ping, Skirk and, oh yeah, Skirk Child's Master. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's Skirk. That is Skirk, that's the one that child was referring to uh, earlier in the quest. Magnificent and dramatic this woman name years. Eventually so be the one justice of the that belongs VA? to you. All Her person will talking. eventually end in Yeah, a that's just black shorts. And dramatic trial. Farewell, Nervalet. I hope you've enjoyed the part you played these five hundred hmm. years. Oh Chingle Keanu. <laughs> Yes, he's he returned. Yeah, that is an insane trailer. As expected from Act 5. Act 5 usually is always the, the heavy hitter. Um, What's this called? A Masquerade... A Masquerade of Guilty. Or Hilty. They, there it is. According yeah, to I was. I thought when I first saw it, the first instance, I was thinking it was um, it was the the old Hydro Archon, but judgment of the oratory. And I was like, oh no, Skirk, Skirk. Look at his part later in the stream. You can see, oh, when her, her colors change. All right, we got the the names. Can I zoom in here? Nope, that's zooming out. These are, these are always, like, a huge reveal. Now that my magic is spent, please, O oh Judge, let the change from my soul. Never again co-sign me to dance alone upon this lonely isle. 
Hmm. My last, my last gl glimmer of hope I offer to you. Hmm. So Ray Chase, obviously Nouvellet. Aaron is a Arlequino. Amberly Collins, Charlotte. Oh, I thought so. I was thinking like it kind of sounded like Mona, but I was like, no, why would Mona be in this scenario? But yeah. Oh, and then Nicole. Where was Nicole? When did Nicole say something? Huh. Yeah, she's coming home. Yeah, I know she's like she's from Fontaine, but I I was thinking more like she'd be affiliated like with the Steambird or like some kind of eh, you know more playful thing. But the serious things, I you know I guess she could like tell what's gonna happen. That's gonna be really nice to see her come back. And who's oh that's a potato cat Pratano okay cat Pratano Skirk. So that's pretty much a dead giveaway, if you're wondering who it was. Hmm. Few most constellation names? A very Sudge. Sausage. Hmm. Yeah, I had no idea Nicole was in there. I, I eventually when I was like on my way uh on my way out, I figured like, oh that was most likely Skirk, but my suspicions were Skirk and Mona. I was like on the on the fence about. Dude, had no idea Nicole was there. D oh, during a black screen after Mona. The Hydro are coming to be punished. The black by screen a... after Mona. The oh, I'm like, did you zoom in? The death. Sentence. You, would call you have never been as superficial as you have presented. So um, Mona was. It'd be really funny if the subtitles had like the person's name <laughs> first. You're to be. Mona. Dialogue. No more excuses. And why should we acknowledge it? So so long. Why? Do Oh, Mona spoke while Navia was falling. Wow, I am oblivious. Any water that looks strange all the same. Like, oh, like right here. I know you're not a local, but I'd avoid getting too close to any water that looks strange all the same. There's something ominous about it. Well, the oh. water, I mean. Oh yeah, that's Felicia. The prophecy. Yeah. This Felicia is just too talented. She does too many voices. No. Same. But there is like the yeah Navia falling and like the kind of like the visual trick of something ominous about it. taking your mind off it. But yeah, she does say, "I know you're not a local here," which is a good indication. Hmm. I know you're not a local, but I'd avoid getting too close to any water that looks strange. All the same, there's something ominous about it. The water, hmm. I mean. Mona, you should be able to tell me everything I need to know. The prophecy. I mean, uh, Kiana, or uh, in the universe, I mean, uh, the main Kiana answers our third as well. Main Jing Lu, and then be the next Skirk main there. Yes. Uh oh. What has been prophesized will be fulfilled. Oh, it's always in order. Oh. I, Farina, will use this trial to show the world the true meaning Do of. So you said it right after. This is Nicole. The same. There's something ominous about it. The water, I mean. The prophecy. Yes. What has been prophesized will be fulfilled. I, oh. Marina, will use this trial to show the world the true meaning Do of not justice. Wait, is she? Wait. What has been prophesied? Will field. be fulfilled. I, Marina, hmm. will use this trial to show the world the true meaning Do of not justice. This judgment oh, is all the people. So that's my call. You, you have this never been as justice. superficial as you have presented yourself You're to be. No but more excuses. Why should we acknowledge hmm. it? It would have been really cool if the voices was like in this, like all this commotion. Why did you deceive us? So there's the white shorts. This isn't right. The trial of the Hydro Archon. The floor will now this begin. Is... Wow, I, man, I really understand the true purpose behind this position. He understands. You are a devious one, Fusalor. 
And yo, he always calls her Farina, and now he's calling her Fosma. Everyone's dead. Papa, what should I do? Hmm. The prophecy that you've been fretting over should now be in full swing. So the last person to speak... <laughs> the skirt, right? I suppose this would also be the justice that belongs to you. All no, that's the call. will eventually oh, end in a magnificent and dramatic trial. Also, the, the, the last person just said the prophecy you've been fretting over should be in full swing. Full <laughs> swing. Hmm. That kind of reminds me of uh, the first trailer we got when they were talking about um, when Fremenet was dying or dying, diving, or I guess die, when he was um, like drowning in the water. That very first line. I suppose this would also be the justice that belongs to you. Or something about All the... will eventually end in a magnificent and dramatic okay. trial. Farewell, Nervalette. Yeah, the whale boss looks awesome. I hope you've enjoyed the part you played these 500 years. Uh, 400. No, it's probably 500. I could have sworn you said 400 years. Hmm. Yeah, let me check something again. Where's... Uh, Final Feast? She said... Mission. Well, he spoke first, and then someone says... The original sin is the fairest. Oh, no, 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 the original Everyone sin. Everyone sinks. Make the most of the final feast. Because for the sinners, hmm. the curtain call has come. So is that, I feel like the original... They're talking about the old Archon, so maybe like her... According to the judgment... The old, the old Archon kind of set that in play, and now Farina kind of has to deal with it. Mm. The Hydro Archon. How many patches still skirt? To be punished. That's a good question. The death sentence. Dude, they could reveal her and not release her anytime soon. Farina is being an assistant on Lenny's magic show. There may be issues with the, the biggest troll. Everyone on the street. The bitch right now is like it's Farina over New Village to get his dirty back in the water levels rose, they suddenly hmm. disappeared. We have a ta tower of the seven to revive. But shouldn't the gods be all powerful? It'd be interesting to see like the personality change if that she came back somehow. What's done is done. Just trust me. You're our con. Hmm. Never mind whether you can truly convince me. I know there's already like fifteen Reddit threads of like uh Wait, she's wearing black shorts and white shorts. Wanna try or one of the trial the Hydra Archon is Oh, for this character quest. Hmm. Just put it on trial for the events of the Archon quest. Oh, oh like the yeah, like the, the, the old one. This is how the trailer has to be Rena's quest. Oh you think so? You're, you're probably right too. Or, I don't know, it could be a six hour quest. I wouldn't mind it though, because I wasn't the I wasn't the biggest fan of Fontaine's Archon quest so far. I liked the trial in the beginning, but I wasn't the biggest fan of three and four. So I'm happy that five looks interesting, but then again, this could be like a story quest too. Masquerade of the Guild. But there's two Freenas, the Osa one and the Numa one, and they emerge. Yes. So other one is dead and one can remain. Uh, one can use the dead and line it. Oh, that's a good observation. That's a good observation. Because it definitely looks like somebody's got to go. Like, I, I wouldn't say that necessarily. Like based off of like what they showed, but when they showed Nuvolet and his like full sovereign power, I was like, okay, someone, someone had to, someone had to go. Post Lord, why did you deceive us? This isn't right. 
And then, and that's the... Is this the room with the world quest? It is, yeah. This is the room with the world quest. This is like the, um, Anne. Mary Anne. The, the, like the giant clock, the world clock. Yeah. I now understand the true. This room is the best so far, but we'll we'll see how the Fontaine's finale goes. Yeah. This position. It's up to Bruce. It should have been. Yeah, it should have been a little bit more condensed. I feel like. I mean, like it, a handful of it was me kind of running around from each floor trying to find where I was going. But that's not really what like you are took me off of it. Tartagula's back. Everyone's dead. Mm. Papa, what should I do? Yeah. yeah. Just shorten three and combine it with yeah, combine it with four. Should now be in yeah, four was a four was like at least at least you had like some I suppose this would also be the justice that belongs at least. to you. I guess he doesn't mean like it, it gets saved, but and dramatic trial oh dang! Eventually end in I didn't even see that shot. Wow, <laughs> that's the uh, yeah, that's uh, that's not good. That is not good. And dramatic trial. Farewell, Nervalette. Sorry, I was just this is so interesting to watch her. Uh, her eyes are still the same there. I'll be honest, I kind of like the black look. Oh, what if we get an outfit that's actually like a slightly different outfit? That'd be awesome. Get kind of like how Amber has a slightly different one. Jean has a slightly different one. You've enjoyed the part you played these 500 years. That'd be cool. Has a name, but since you haven't finished it, unfinished, unfinished comedy yet, I can't say. It has an... Oh, 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 oh that, 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 that thing. That's it. Just Curse of Vision and like the... Oh, I don't know the supplements that we have. Skirk's vision. The, the show? Prophecy. Yes. What has been prophesized will be fulfilled. Uh, Skirk. <laughs> oh, we're on our, on our chest. That's like the. Dang. Dang. Oh, I think yeah. You mentioned this actually. I saw messages that it it just cuts off right. We just can't see it. Hmm. Yeah, it looks a lot bigger than usual. Like the um. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, thanks for the subscribe. Or subscribe. Thanks for the the prime. Frozen. Appreciate you. Yeah. What on earth, dude? It'd be cool if she was like abyss. You know, like because there's always like that Dane's left. Conspiracy, like with he has like a different element. I mean, it makes sense, right? She was she was always there. Maybe the casing is completely different. <laughs> He's on me. <laughs> Whatever is the case, though, I don't think so. I think she's. Uh, oh, looks like she's from Tibet. Oh yeah, I mean, I have no idea. It, it, it's possible, but maybe it's just like some kind of like pendant or like some kind of. I don't know. Could be like what Nouvellet has, where he has like that little thing. That's another division, but it looks like the. Oh, it doesn't look like the one either. I don't know. That this is like a whole different realm we're diving into, because this is like someone from, or at least someone that would go to the abyss, as, as Child put it. This is not like a Fatui member or like you know, what we're used to. This is like a whole different thing. It's kind of, it kind of reminds me of like, I put her like in the same category as someone like Dane Slug. I mean, she's not from Conria, but. I suppose I'll be honest, when I first saw her, I was thinking of like Celestia. This would all I was like, is it finally happening? I suppose this would also be the just Celestian characters? To you. All will That's what Jigna has been all this time before coming back to the last one. And dramatic trial. She's been training child. Oh man! Wow, I did not see this one either. I saw it, but I didn't realize it was all underwater. Those four poodles. I hope you've enjoyed the part you played these five hundred years. 
no, Ohio, don't do this. I swear, if that Farina is the past Archon and she just has her like skin on, I hope you've enjoyed don't do that, Ohio. Not again. Don't pull the Nahida. Where Ruka Nevada shows up and it's just saying <laughs> Nahida. Like, it makes sense in the story, but, you know, from a, a gameplay perspective, I wish it was, like, an actual different model. Rip. Uh, okay, we can go back to this. She's about Minus one region. Easy story. To attend a performance. Save. You know what I mean? Yes. Uh, that's true. That's Fontaine's biggest celebrity for you. And Inori... speaking of drip, let's, let's take a look at her combat abilities. <laughs> oh, I missed, I missed a, a handful. Missing from the fortress of Merope. Oh, I look how, I look how they put the, uh, they put the little Azure, like gem there too. <laughs> yeah. oh, and the explanation. Child. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we searched all over the fortress hmm. for him. <laughs> Yeah, good call on the uh, the black shorts versus the white yep. shorts. That's I, definitely I something. I guess we'll just have to live with the suspense for a little longer. So Adeline, you're going to be point eight, and we can take them. It is what it oh, is. people are going to be. That's what it is. But we. That's a good observation too. Yeah. That's true. It's the blue eyes. Hmm. Saw so child. Maybe like the gold team comes down and it's just water. Appear <laughs> at the end of the last version's Arc Conquest. So hmm. it probably won't be long until we see him again. Okay, okay. good. Hmm. But we really need to talk about Farina. What? She's confronted Why? with a crisis. <laughs> <laughs> because she's confronted with a crisis that's tough for even one of the great elemental dragons. Hmm. Is it plenty gone? <laughs> Fontaine will have the Caesar's traveler's Caesar. help. But what no. choices will our Hydro Archon make in the face of the crisis? All uh, those poles. Uh, well, just all like wasted. the prophecy itself. All will be revealed at the fated time. But all be revealed knowing Farina, perhaps she'll have made some something. preparations. Mm, huh. Once again, disappointed. Hmm. It's a really oh, sick art, too. Yeah. <laughs> no way. Come on, guys. That's a wallpaper right there. <laughs> okay, to bolster everyone's confidence all in the Farina, water coming in. let's learn a little more about this one-of-a-kind Archon. Let's go. Why are you just standing there with your mouth gaping? You must be stunned and at a loss for words. <laughs> Under She's in the black shorts in the splash art. Oh, the phone. Understandable. It is I, after all. Fontaine's most beloved star, Farina. I'm on a Felina. very tight schedule, so you're lucky to even get an appointment with me. She's in the black oh shorts gosh. in the splash. I love her outfit. Mm. Yes. Oh, and, and her eyes, like each of them are different. Mm. She's got these little eyelashes and yes. her hat. <laughs> oh, you know, it's amazing. You'd expect and you notice too. I had to go back to the trailer again. <laughs> but in when she was dancing. Eventually end. You can see her where her vision is. It's not there anymore. Her vision is just like, you know, I mean, the Archons usually don't actually have one in the first place. They like a, a counterfeit one. Um, even though Nouvellet laughed at that idea. So I don't know if that happens in Fontaine or not. But yeah, it's like a jewel now. It's like the thing's not there anymore. The vision's not there anymore. Hmm. Black Freedom so short hair. about to attend a performance. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, uh, I don't know. That's Fontaine's that's, uh, biggest celebrity for you. And the black speaking shorts. of drip. Versus Let's white take shorts. a look at her combat abilities. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! And one glove is black, one the other one's white. I think only archons who are hiding there, or or, or don't have, or don't have a vision. Too popular. Can or who have a vision? A but for her. Being too popular can be such a hassle. Hmm. Who knew the people would adore me so much? Her elegant attacks, the gameplay is in the white shorts. PC's failing me. The smile. Oh, I guess that's just the part of the video? <laughs> what was that? 
what is going on with the animals? Hmm. Whoa, that is wow. so cool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> is it like so literally high. just like a, a summon? Like like Guoba like and she kind of like bows. Very dramatic. Mm -hmm. yes. Like a bunch of them. It's like all of her moves are part of a performance. Oh, like totally. actually? Also, look at her elemental burst. Oz her times three. Oh my god. Stage. Everyone <laughs> else is just an extra. Mm -hmm. Well, the animation with the wheel of sweets. Yeah, that threw me off when I first saw. I was like, wait, what? Wait, so the creatures that Farina summons, they look a lot like the huh. phantom or aberrants that we've encountered before. There's a seahorse, a crab, an octopus, and they oh, are all so I saw the cute. octopus. Yep. Oh, I love them. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Oh my gosh, looks really cool too. No, the octopus is even wearing a hat. Yeah, I what might a have. Distinguished little gentleman. Um, uh, correction. Well, you want to get a weapon though? Uh, might wait till after the rerun. Different from Fontaine uh, uh, You want to save a ride in the heat Uh, to my knowledge, <laughs> yeah. these creatures are Farina's quote. Uh, but yeah, her banner kind of yeah. Quote honor yeah. guests. Um, they even help. Hey, look, it's three numbies and Tofas. Manage your daily affairs. Yes, mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. So, the weapon does Serena look cool. It does look really cool. Guest to her tea party, which is. Well, I'm trying to see what's going on with this like slightly different outfit. Known as the Salon Salitaire, and Salon those Salitaire are actually special guests of the Salon Salitaire. Let's giving her weapon mainly because I want to. Oh, I want to go see too. She even gave mm. each member a name. Oh my gosh! Oh, yes. oh did she? <laughs> so you've got the maid, the Mademoiselle too. Crabaletta. <laughs> <laughs> They're the best. Yeah. The crab, the one that's a crab, I assume. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes. And then you've got the crab housekeeper, Bella. Sir Intendant Cheval Moran. Ah, oh, there mm -hmm. he is. Mm -hmm. And the I'm not gonna remember that. Gentleman Usher. Oh. And that last Gentleman one Usher. is a stickler for propriety. Oh, okay, okay. So when Farina hmm. said to make an appointment with Sir Intendant oh. Cheval Moran, this is who she was the referring seahorse. to? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. I didn't oh, know that's it was too so good. Cute. Exactly. Farina even makes him spew bubbles in her eyes. That is too good. Oh my gosh. That's adorable. Okay. I'm sure Look everyone is just itching to know more about the skills shown in that clip. So, hmm. Amber, why don't Give you take it away? Tell us dumb. everything. Yes, you got it. Yay. So, uh, oh. Farina is <laughs> a my sword user. Okay. Mm hmm. But again. Mm -hmm. She usually defaults to an Usia Arca alignment in combat. When in this state, oh, her dang, they all have different attacks. Three members of the Salon Solitaire, Mademoiselle Crabaletta, Sir Intendant Chevalmeron, and Gentilhomme Usher to the stage. Well, I guess Freena would have other people doing stuff for her. <laughs> that makes sense. I love it. It's so cute. <laughs> um, and, you know, these um, Salon members will attack they don't attack. opponents. Too fast, it looks like. The active character. Ooh. Wait, what? <laughs> um, and, you know, these um, salon members will attack nearby opponents, prioritizing the target of the active character. Ooh. Oh, so they don't attack the taunt, the, the little friends. So they're, they're not taunts. Who invites the guest of salon solitaire to come forth? Some of the salon members, Uzia, and singer of many waters, Numa. Oh, so we definitely call that. It's definitely both. The more characters there are in the party, there's both alignments. HP amount. <laughs> okay, I was listening to all that, but at the very <laughs> top, you said that she usually <laughs> defaults to an Usia Arca alignment. So she has more than one alignment? Yes, exactly. Yes, sir. Brina's charged attack not only deals physical damage, but also allows her to switch between Usia and Numa Arca alignments. Whoa. Oh, oh that's how you differentiate? Exactly. Farina's charged attack not only deals physical one alignment. Yes, exactly. Farina's charged attack not only deals physical That's cool, damage, actually. but also that's allows cool. her to switch between Usia and Numa Arca alignments. Whoa. Wow. Dang, that's Based cool. Based on what we just saw, it seems like her Arca alignment has an effect on her other skills as well. Yes, sure. So her charge attack is. Farina's I do like how they're they're really changing the way, we, like how we're used to things. Like a charge attack is usually just a charge attack. But like new Valance is like a blast, and now Farina uses it to change. The mental skill changes depending arcs. on whether she is aligned with Usia or Numa. That's cool. Oh. It's super cool. Uh, after that is Farina cool. Farina uses yeah. her charged attack to switch to a Numa Arca alignment. Her elemental skill summons the Singer of Morph. Many Waters, 
to provide oh. healing to oh. nearby party members. Oh, nice. So, oh, so she has like a damage phase and a, hey, yes. and a healing phase. The summons created by Farina's elemental skill will remain on the field for a period of time even after Farina is switched out. Mm. Farina's elemental... So all of her friends, her little animal friends go away? I was going to work underwater. Do I have to charge back on the surface and go underwater again? Hmm, you might actually, you might have to. Might not be able to use anything down underwater. Burst deals damage to surrounding opponents. It's Jover. And when the party member's HP increases that is a cool surrounding ulti. opponents. And when the party members... That is like, God, that's, that's probably one of my favorite ones, just by looking at that. The, like, the spin into, like, the... Uh, like the, the it kind of gives me like Batman Arkham Asylum vibes. I see. Uh, Asylum, like this, like Scarecrow. Obviously not scary vibe, but like, yeah. I don't know if anybody ever played that game, but like this part, <laughs> like the part where Batman kind of gets like, uh taken uh, advantage of and Scarecrow has like this visual effect on him where Scarecrow's huge and Batman's super small. <laughs> Just a lot less scary. HP increases or decreases. And more friendly. Farina will accumulate fanfare points. I think like Farina doesn't er charge attack right away and like any other characters. Usually they have like a normal attack before. Yeah, yeah, that's true. She kind of like goes into like this phase. Farina's elemental skill will remain on the field for a period of time even uh, after Farina's Yeah, like she just starts, yeah. Farina's on the field for a period of time I wonder if you try and cancel it, like what will happen? You, you can probably, if you don't hold it all the way, you might be able to just do a charge attack, like actually. And then I guess like a hold will put you in the... Mm, I don't know, I'd love to find that out. Even after Farina is switched out. Farina's elemental burst okay. deals damage to surrounding opponents. And when the party member's HP opponents. increases or decreases, Farina will accumulate fanfare points. <laughs> That's my trumpet. Hmm? Amazing. Fanfare points? <laughs> so, um, Farina increases the damage and... My trumpet. Wait. Uh, I mean, Wait, that visual effect is actually in the game? Party member's HP increases or decreases, Farina will... Are they serious? The bubbles? Is that actually on the screen? Fanfare points. This is like either a live stream thing or that's actually going to be like in the game. <laughs> that's my trumpet. Um, Amazing. <laughs> so, um, Farina increases the no, damage I think that's and actually the, the game. incoming healing bonus of nearby party members based on the amount of fanfare she has. Wait, oh, Simulate go back. Fanfare points. Um, Farina increases the damage and the incoming healing bonus of nearby party members based on the amount of fanfare she has. Wow, it seems like this fighting style Say really what? suits Farina's character. It's very showy and unpredictable. Totally. I can already see the fluctuations in my team's HP bar. <laughs> that healing skill might come in handy. Yeah, for real. So and, um, damage to and heal? knowledge of deep water aberrants, Farina's passive talent can decrease the cooldown on abilities gained from the Xenochromatic Fontimer Aberrants. Ooh. Wow, you can say that again. Yeah. Oh. And that'll make Wait. it even easier to uncover the secrets lurking in the depths. Always the eh, eh, That's fine, I guess. Let's hope for like a more extravagant passive, but it's just she makes it just so you can attack a little bit faster. Secrets lurking in the depths. <laughs> Oh, and it's I so almost blue. forgot, um, whenever one of Farina's summons is on the field, Farina gains the ability to walk on water. Oh my gosh, wow. that is so cool. <laughs> yes. Hey, um, I actually saw that Farina's... No, they didn't just yes, do that, that to... So cool. <laughs> hey, um... I... They didn't just do that. No, Coco me. <laughs> I saw that Farina's outfit changes whenever she switches between no. Arkham yeah. yeah, Water. Oh my gosh, no. that is so cool. <laughs> yes. Hey, um... Wow, well, just... how long does the scale last? That's the question. Oh my gosh, wow. that is so cool. How long does the scale last? Yes. Hey, um, I actually saw that Farina's outfit changes... Oh my goodness. Kokomi fades is Coco. <laughs> Is <laughs> whenever she switches between Arkham. Oh, yeah. I guess I I guess it. Eh, mm. yeah. 
It depends. It depends on how long the skill is. But just because it's the skill and not the burst, that's already like. Whoa. Good eye. You're correct. You. Did... All right. Well, I take it back. I said I wanted a cool passive. They they delivered. Is that this a, a second passive? Does change, but you know, such is the charm of a celebrity, I suppose. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah, yes, that is cool uh, though. So... I'll I will give them that. I was just saying that they had like the. You can do your attack underwater faster, but then they added that one too. I guess there's two. Need to walk on water. Oh my gosh, wow. that is so cool. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Dang, hey, that is um, cool. I actually saw that Frina's outfit changes whenever she switches mm -hmm. between Arco Oh yeah. 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 Archons have 100% uptime with their skills. It could be infinite. Oh yeah, Raiden, yeah, Raiden's skills extremely long. Zhongli shield. I, you're correct. You. It does change. Need his mark. But you know, such is the time of a celebrity. You might be on to something. Yes, suppose. Uh, <laughs> sacrificial sword. Well. Yes, uh, so if you want to learn more about Frank. Unless you can like find an enemy to hit. Then be sure to accompany. Emmy Mula. Oh yeah, I went over that already. Yeah. Um, that name. One of one of the names is something has to do with like theater, and the other one that you can kind of tell is like an. Or, or similar to animals. Her on her story quest. So it's almost like a, a theater of animals. It's not what it means exactly, but the two different words. There's some kind of meaning in there. The Ani Mula like that. Karaji chapter. Ah, Ani amazing. Mula Karaji. Okay. So next up, we have another old so, friend yeah. to introduce. You're probably right. That is a the archon, the trailer is probably a lot of her her own quests. I get. I bet. She's now able to join the travelers' party with her trusty companion, Monsieur Verite. That's right. Hmm. So Farina seems. She said you get damage bonus and you get healing, increased healing when you pop her alt. It's just but I need to see the the the, the actual details. Violet! Yay! Oh, adorable. <laughs> so cute. Also, they didn't, they didn't show what the new relics said in Star Rail. I gotta look at that later. We've known yeah. Charlotte for a while now. Star Quest is probably taking its funeral quest. Traveler met her during the Summoner no. Summon event, which took them on an adventure all over to that. Yes, Charlotte. Right. Charlotte's hard hitting spirit and determination to uncover the truth really like leave Charlotte. an impression, don't they? Yeah. That's right. During our journey in Fontaine, didn't she treat the traveler to a magnificent meal in order to get a first person Ridesley? Though she didn't end up getting the interview that she wanted in the end, huh? It's DOT. Oh, that makes sense. Follow up damage. This is Topaz release. DOT and follow up damage. But I don't think that will deter her. She'll mm. always be in search of the truth. The world is her treasure chest, and only her camera mm. can determine its contents. Oh, well, it's DOT part. I might be. I might have to find a new set. They contain. If like Luoches, we will travel in a coffin. Speaking of her Everywhere camera, we go. Monsieur Verite just coffin. so happens to be her greatest assistant and companion. They're Min friends. Minsu Charlotte's talent something. for photography is truly a marvel. Speaking of her camera, Monsieur Verite just so happens Verite. to be her greatest assistant and companion. They're friends. Charlotte's talent for photography the camera is truly has a marvel. Another person. No matter the subject or setting, her photos somehow always capture an unparalleled sense of artistry yeah the their casings of the visions are pretty into eye catching mementos prominent in fact maybe, that, maybe it many fontanians even cut the prints out of the newspaper and keep them as clippings oh, that's so cool and mr verite is so cute Littering. even has his own little hat and tie <laughs> i know charlotte actually commissioned both of those items from Shiori. she even commissioned monsieur verite's accessories in several different styles to match different i can't wait to settings. see Shiori, cool? emily <laughs> is pretty cheverus i suppose that just shows how much charlotte cherishes ah uh, yes her own the camera is yes has a really life of does. his own okay Let's go ahead and Literally. take a look at Charlotte's character showcase, shall we? Ooh, Ooh, let's yes. Do it. Let's see. If you keep your eyes peeled and your mind engaged, you'll find there's wow, always at... a new story nearby just waiting to be discovered. Look at that animation on that paper. That wasn't that wasn't engaged, bad. You'll find there's yes. If you keep your eyes peeled paper. and your mind engaged, you'll find there's always a new story nearby just waiting to be Oh, it's like a kind of base suitcase. That'd be sick. He actually takes pictures as attacks. Oh, ooh, are they? Cur she might have a charge attack. Is her um alignment? 
I don't know if it's Numa or, or Usa, but Uzia. Oh, okay, it's action like Nita. I said that when I saw the trailer this morning, but I didn't think it was actually gonna be like literally walking around with it. That's gonna look really funny in co-op. Wow. Oh, amazing. <laughs> yeah, she's okay. really that looks like, really funny. Moving around. Yes. Honestly, <laughs> it's just what you'd expect. She's like moving Except around. Reporter for the Steambird. Even her True. combat skills involve taking photos. Isn't that cool? Uh, yeah, and yeah, like, see one of them towards the end since we met Kave before his release. Uh, oh, oh, really? What a lively character. Mansoor, her combat moves, great, like I was great. saying, she's moving around. They're super yeah. dynamic. <laughs> it yes. seems like she's always on the move. Hey, she's moving around. <laughs> Who's on the march? Exactly. <laughs> Charlotte she's is an moving, expert moving. at applying the skills and talents that she's developed as a reporter to other areas of her life. And that I, includes... I didn't even think what she was by all that. Of course, is Catalyst. Combat. With her... I didn't even cross my mind on like what she was using. I was like, oh yeah, camera. Trusty companion, Monsieur Verite. She captures enemies from all angles, unleashing attacks. It's weird to see weaknesses. Charlotte in gameplay. Yeah. Honestly, I would expect nothing less from one of Fontaine's most famous reporters. Who knew hmm. cameras could do that, though? <laughs> I didn't know you could use them as a weapon. Same. The more you know, I guess. Okay, here's yeah, some cool stuff. A... Charlotte's oh, elemental yeah, skill of course. applies snappy silhouette to opponents caught within the viewfinder. Snappy viewfinder. silhouette. During this effect's duration, marked opponents will intermittently take damage. Whoa. Holding Charlotte's elemental skill strength. That is cool, though. I like how they kind of brung back the Nahida kind of mark. Applies focused I always like when there's marks. impression to opponents instead. For sure, I mean, I feel like I see uh, resin this way. Flash field that continuously restores HP to party Absolutely. members within its range. Monsieur Verite, he's also going to join in and intermittently attack opponents during the duration of the ability. Hmm. As an experience, that would be really cool for like freeze or just like cry reactions because it's their mark. This reporter, Charlotte, is an expert at. I'll try about taking an L every day, not being able to move their, their ability. Oh yeah. Even more so. He can move, just, just ride the aqua bus. Adapting her methods to match the needs of her target. When paired oh. with Fontaine characters, go, go Charlotte receives a healing to, bonus. To she... When paired with non-Fontaine characters, no. she receives a cryo damage. Gina's gonna send you flying. Bonus. Monsieur and applies a focused impression to opponents instead. Mm. Now her elemental burst creates a new burst. flash field that continuously restores HP to party members with Charlotte and Sing Cho, the enemy will never be able to move again. In its range. Monsieur Verite, he's also going to join in and intermittently attack opponents. Well, I guess Risley too. I during suppose. the duration of the ability. As an experienced reporter, Charlotte is an expert at Dude. adapting her methods to match the needs of her target. When paired Mark. with Fontaine characters, Charlotte receives a healing bonus. When paired with non Fontaine characters, she receives a cryo damage bonus. What is that supposed to mean, Charlotte? If you're with Fontaine characters, you get a healing bonus. If you're not with Fontaine characters, you get a damage bonus. Now that is not all. There is more. During the 4.2 <laughs> special mean? event, travelers can complete a quest to receive a special gadget called non-Fontanian characters. When Charlotte active to receive is more. During the 4.2 special event, travelers can complete a quest to receive a special gadget called the zoom lens. Ooh. You can get a zoom lens? Wide and telephoto. When Charlotte activates the zoom lens, it will trigger her passive talent called first person shutter. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. They are the okay. whole first person shutter. Elemental skill. The gadget will cause you to enter photo mode instead. That is so cool. Wait, yeah. what? Person shutter. Oh my god. A zoom lens, it will trigger her passive talent called First Person Shutter. Oh my gosh. That's when you amazing. hold her elemental skill, the gadget that might, will cause that would you be kind of weird. Instead. That is so cool. Oh, 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 sorry. No, no, no. That's fine. That's fine. You, you get a special gadget, he said. I thought they were just saying, like, if you hold it down, you go into photo mode. I was like, oh no. <laughs> oh. Yep. That is super rad, and you know, I have a feeling think it hit? some super cool pictures are going to come out of that. Uh, okay, I'll oh, bet yeah. that's we pretty fun. Provide more information about the zoom lens and how to use it. During I like the that little extra feature. So, 
But you need to complete Maria an event first. Yep. In four... Hey, at least Charlotte's on the first one. Point two event wishes. It's Ooh, by you. In the first half of version 4.2. Jensen of Many Waters. We'll have event well, get that Jade Fall Splendor going. Wishes showcasing Farina and Baiju. Of course, the three of them again. The, the Nationals. <laughs> well, this means you can use Charlotte with National variants. And you get damage bonus, but probably can't be much. During this time, Memento lens power. Time, Charlotte will also. Oh yeah, I wonder if we can if they actually will let you do that in domains. Imagine eighty pulls, no Charlotte. Oh, I, I don't have to imagine. It's gonna happen. Receive a huge drop. It's rate gonna boost. happen. Huge boost. <laughs> I think I don't know. I think Charlotte might need the boss that Risley needs, but I uh, I don't know if I'll be able to level her <laughs> too. But a new five star sword, I want to play that one too. Waters will be featured in the oh weapon. no, they both have the same name. <laughs> This is called Splendor of Tranquil Waters. And Baiju's is called, yeah, Jade Fall Splendor. Oh no. Now you gotta be real careful with what you say because uh, they're both the same weapon. Or I can't. Project Amber? Nope. That's fine. Literally the same name. I think, right? Jade Fall. Jade Fall, yeah, Jane Falls Splendor. Jade Falls Splendor versus Splendor of Tranquil Waters. Weapon Yikes. event banner. And Cute sword. <laughs> okay, look, I got Splendor. And in the second half of version 4.2, mm -hmm. we'll have reruns for Sino and Ayato. Hmm. Okay, let's mm -hmm. take a look at what other information. Put one of those guys on the other banner. Hmm, it looks like <laughs> Investigating something. Ooh. Oh, there's even. Wait, what's that? Two, we'll have reruns for Sino and Ayato. Hmm. Okay, let's take a look at what other information we can learn from Farina's itinerary. Hmm. It looks like she's oh. investigating something. Yeah, that's gonna be rough. Oh, there's even a report attached. Tell us what it says. Okay. It's not terrible for the next one if you care about those weapons, but yeah, the first one, okay, well, yeah. It does. Strange rumblings have been heard. All devouring narwhal. The depths of Fontaine's <laughs> waters. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. It's here already? Oh, oh my gosh. Well, well, well. Damn. It looks like it's in a oh sea God. of pink and blue stars. That's so pretty. Oh, I remember. Spoilers! She's got the black shorts on, and it's the gameplay. Remember this whale? I recognize this whale. Wait, what? yeah, yeah. Isn't this the whale that the traveler saw in Child's Spoiler. Vision? Spoiler! The version 4.1 Archon Quest? Yep, <gasps> it's the same one. Is it? After ravaging its way through the primordial 4. sea, 1. this other oh, oh, the whale, creature yeah. has at long last broken the seal and descended upon. Shade Fall Splendor of Tranquil Waters. Oh no. Yeah, if you have Festering, it's like that's like the go to. Get energy and damage. Or if you have uh if you fish for the other one. But I bet Festering is probably better than that. Blow of Sandra. How many use if you're not using signature sword? Um Fontaine. Hmm. Ooh. It's he does want HP, so I mean, that key of kind of suit wouldn't actually be a terrible idea. It's real big, big. It uh, it feels but like it might even burst. I see, pretty versatile. Maybe like you can do like Jade Cutter. Straight um, through the screen. Oh, I hope not. Maybe even five. <laughs> <laughs> I get this feeling uh, that this isn't the type of opponent that we can just brute force hmm. our way through. You know. Mm -mm. Exactly. No, no more companions. No more Scar Moose battle. Lee. In the first phase, it will use its gigantic size to target the traveler with massive AoE attacks from all directions. Dodging is definitely your friend with this one. Oh boy. Hmm, there's like um, a meter at the top okay, too. Okay, okay, okay. So there also seems to be sort of a progress bar next to the boss's HP hmm. bar. Yeah. What's oh that my for? gosh, okay. dude. I would love if this thing was like super tanky. Like if it's like a real boss fight, like a real like crazy like difficult fight since we can't outfight it we'll have to outsmart it instead the creature just freed itself from How? captivity and is brimming with anger 
So if you can find a way to capitalize on that anger, pull the characters who have alignment. <laughs> perhaps you <No. laughs> will also find its weaknesses. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, is is somebody being oh. eaten? Is Am it, I is it even possible to survive something like that? <laughs> I guess here it is. Ooh. Do they ever show this much? Oh, they show a lot. This is an entirely different space, it looks like. And there's a new enemy here with okay. a this is already massive cool. sword. Where is the whales? Oh, these summoned creatures also look Where indeed? To me. I wonder what no, the I, deal yeah, is with all of this. Might be like me. Perhaps know. defeating this mysterious enemy within this space will be the key to defeating the whale? Dang. What is this? It, oh, please don't make this a single player only boss. I'm seeing like all these mechanics. I'm kind of getting a little worried. Players will need to experiment for themselves. Ooh. This would be so fun, yeah. Cop. All truths will be revealed in version 4.2. <laughs> well cool. said. Oh man, this Surely. boss looks oh, really, no. really tough. Um, what happens if we, for some reason, can't defeat it? Ooh. Okay. Yeah, there's, there's, like, there's like too many mechanics. I feel like this might be single player. Oh, I think it might be. Look at the the top left hand corner. The co the co op symbol is uh like cut off. Does it say that if you're already in co op? I don't know. But I see the symbols like it has the red thing right at the top. Oh, oh, oh I got the achievement for wait. Right? Summoned creatures also look big. Oh, it's true. It could be a story. It could be a story. To me. I wonder what the deal I is hope. with all of I hope. Oh yeah, I hope it's the story. Perhaps defeating this mysterious enemy with Don't lock us. Don't devolve us. Defeating the whale. Travelers will need to experiment for themselves. Don't devolve on us. Ooh. I mean, devolve yeah. fine, but all truths will be revealed. Mm, so okay, this 4.2 might be where they start to really force Numa Uzia. <laughs> it's fine. We have. Oh Monette. man, this boss looks really, really tough. In Traveler. Um, what happens if we, for some reason, can't defeat it? Ooh. Okay, this hmm. update actually helps with that problem. And the boss uh, completely faced thing. Option will appear on the challenge failed screen. Doing damage to all uh, the, the boss and destroying the eye of Millstorm creates a draw hostility. Once it builds its limit, the creature will devour the character, causing them to enter the belly of the beast. Defeating the dark shadow, the beast will do significant damage in our wall and cause it to fall into the weakened state. Numa also attacks can quickly destroy the whirlpool and can interrupt the shadow's attacks. When the health of all the Ryan Narwhal results will be low, it will no lower the difficulty here. of the boss if travelers are hmm. struggling to defeat them during a main quest. Hopefully this lower difficulty provides a smoother gaming experience. Oh, wait, back okay. When PS4 players uh, do this in co op match, they'll also die before they finish the Travelers to enjoy. Oh, yeah. I love yeah. that. Now we don't need to worry about getting sure. stuck while trying to advance the main story. It's in their process anymore. If people can't kill, they just. So, yeah. Because that, that is a, an option. Even like for the main game, like the whole game in itself, you can lower the level by one if you always want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, hey, um, that was yeah, a lot a of point. information, wasn't it? Can we... It just depends on the mechanics. Like, if he has some kind of crazy, like, tanky shield or something. And there, there was no, like, shield bar, I don't think, but... It seems to be sort of... There is a little meter right the there. progress bar next to the boss's HP hmm. bar. Yeah. But I, yeah, I do wonder how it's going to play oh. out. Oh, I hope not. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, I'm glad that they don't show anything more. This feeling uh, that do want to be a little bit surprised. Opponent that we can just brute force our way through, you know? The battlefield exactly. looks nice, though. It's just In the first one phase, big floor. It will use its gigantic size to target the traveler with massive AoE attacks from all directions. Hmm. Dodging is death. Thank goodness this boss is not underwater. Definitely your friend with this one. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, okay. Underwater okay, fight. Okay. So there also seems to be sort of a progress Three bar skills. next to the boss's HP hmm, bar. Yeah. What's that for? Okay. Is that an innate can't element? Out fight it. We'll have to outsmart it instead. The creature the just hides from the captivity and is brimming with anger. So if you can find a way to capitalize on that anger, That's, oh okay, Numa Oro. You so. also find its weaknesses. Who's you? Hmm. Oh okay. With Wait, was that, was that the so if you can find a way to capitalize on that anger, oh, no, no, no. perhaps you'll also find its weaknesses. Mm. Oh, okay. Wait, is, is so it's like it's like step by step kind of a fight. Mm. I'll fight it is in it, level twenty. Is it even possible to survive something like that? <laughs> I guess here it is. Ooh. 
<laughs> lost an insane amount of health. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Hmm. This is an entirely different. Maybe maybe that was like cut, and this ha this happens if you're like not doing well. You get put in here. Visitor from the Prince far Spencer side. Like. And there's a new enemy of here the Sea of Stars with a massive sword. Oh, these summon hmm. creatures also look vaguely familiar to me. I wonder what the is that deal a new, is. It's not new, is it? Perhaps defeating Wait, this mysterious guy, enemy within this space will be the key to defeating the whale. Yeah, I, they don't have that guy. Experiment for themselves. Ooh, yeah. Hmm. All truths will be revealed. It's like a, a night, a uh, lecture night. In version four point two. <laughs> <laughs> well said. Oh man, this boss. And they they chose Nuvolet, Nahida, Frina, and Baiju. This looks really really tough. Um, what happens if we for some reason can't defeat it? Ooh. Okay, this update Bloom. actually helps with that problem. Starting from 4.2, an option will appear on the challenge failed screen to lower the difficulty. Oh, so this okay? So you're right. This is like the whole game. This is this everything. If you're fighting something, probably not Abyss. I imagine. But if you fail something, you can just leave like usual or you can lower the difficulty. She said the challenge failed screen in general. Uh, you'll, you'll get the lower difficulty option. So anytime you see challenge failed, you can, I guess, make it. But hopefully it's not for everything. Oh, just for the story, you think? Oh, that makes Travelers sense. Yeah. Are struggling to defeat them during a main quest. Probably hopefully just the story. This provides a smoother game. Wait. Travelers are struggling to defeat them during a main quest. Oh, you're right. Yeah, a main quest. Hopefully, okay. this provides a smoother gaming experience for travelers to enjoy. Hmm. Oh, I be fair that there, there probably shouldn't be that option if you're fighting it with and like not in the story. Love that. Now we don't need to worry about getting stuck while. Well, main traveler for immersion. Trying true. to advance the main story. True, true, true. Totally. But mm -hmm. <laughs> that seems to be promoting hey, waters. Um, that was a lot of care, wasn't it? Can we take a short little break while we have a look at the second redemption code, reference. maybe? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Oh, I think I, yeah, I did get these. Ooh, look at that. I think that's, that's all the same outfit, I think. He's dying. I know, I think dying to ride during the Archon Quest is <laughs> some rite of passage. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was uh, definitely jarring the first time seeing it. I was like, oh my god, I can't use any of my abilities. Graham. Hello! Hello. Oh, abilities, uh, not for co-op match players that want to flex their Darius numbers. Hello, hello! Yay! Yeah. So, we've oh, yeah, that, that should be fine now. That's only going to be for introduced new characters, your first new plot lines, and a new boss. But I hope you're still eager for new content, travelers, because there's still... Turns out that was actually the land boss. We still have yet to see the weekly still boss. more to come. <laughs> Let's take a look at what other information we can learn from Farina's itinerary. Okay, aside Four from around investigating Fontaine. crises, it seems like our Hydro Archon also goes on occasional excursions throughout Fontaine. <laughs> Who knew she did all this work behind the scenes? New area. Nice. Yep, new area. <laughs> well, you know, maybe uh, she's just using it as an excuse to scout out a place. Well, about lake light and foggy forest, a terrestrial sea, and fathomless tower. The lake light and foggy for forest. one of her tea parties. Oh. So is it left or right? When's going to Quarter Fontaine from the east? Yep, okay, so it's east. Yep. So we can the depths of the Irenaeus Forest. Irenaeus Forest. Weeping Willows, Story Garden. Oh. Arena and okay. excuses. <laughs> <laughs> to the right. <clears throat> hey, it seems like the places Farina has chosen to visit this time it's... feature some peculiar landscapes. Mm. Oh yeah, it looks. Oh, that was new. Area. Okay, I don't know if it's if it's where I thought it was, like the Fountain of Lucine, or if it's down below, where uh, like that giant crab is, not underground, but like that. Like Farina is an Arenaeus forest on the east. Yeah, a lot of Fontaine you can actually see, like from right now. You can actually see a handful of stuff. Like, like we could see those giant water cubes for a long time when, before it came out. Mm. And that's Ooh. right behind the opera house. What a cool... Mm. And that's right behind the opera house. Right behind the opera house? 
Oh, yeah. It looks like Farina is in Erinias Forest on the east side of Fontaine. Mm. And that's right behind the Opera House. I mean, what a behind it would be the, I guess, like the general cool place. Mm -hmm. Although, it does kind of look like it could be hiding some secrets. <laughs> Death. Behind the Opera House would be the scene. Definitely man. wouldn't be a video game if there weren't secrets. Oh, Things yeah. Things <laughs> are definitely not what they seem here. You see that giant yellow weeping willow if you sit on the mountains and look to the east? Oh, I actually didn't know that. I had no idea. I could see it from the... Oh, from like really high up. Why is Fina wandering around? Is it just me? Or just for the stream where it's actually the aftermath of the... It kind of look like it could be high... What? Mm. Oh, was well, she actually like... Erinias Forest on the east... Oh, yeah. It oh. looks like Farina is in Erinias Forest on the east side of Fontaine. Mm. And oh. that's right behind the Opera House. Oh, are those her flowers? Mm. Mm. Those blue ones? Although, I don't know if that's, like, aesthetic or if that's actually, like, able to be picked up. that's right behind the Opera House. What a cool mm. place. Mm -hmm. Although... I mean, Super 3.0, we were able to see the sandstorm, but we didn't... Yeah, I didn't get 3.4. That's true, yeah. Like, it's all, like, the unrendered, like, blurry... Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, the giant yeah, pyramid. It does kind of look like it could be hiding... That's, like, a part of the immersion, too, is, like, before it's there, like, way before it's there, you get to at least see the general idea of what it looks like. Some secrets. <laughs> you really need to go to the other worlds to collect... Oh, like other, like the new area? Or Definitely like other wouldn't be a video game if there weren't secrets. Oh, yeah. so far, <laughs> definitely not what they seem here. Hmm. For example, strange things have been happening with the water veins around Loch Urania. As you can see, a strong what wind is storm is right gathered there? around the vortex rising from the middle oh, of the lake. <laughs> it's almost like it's preventing certain things from getting closer and forcibly pushing other things away. Hmm. And take Giant a look at water this, bubble. the foggy forest path. That fog is really thick. Mm. Yeah. That's why they call it the foggy forest path. But what about this area? Maybe. The weeping willow of the lake. Mm. Ooh, it looks all withered and. and I'm really. I'm hoping. I'm hoping there's a good amount. Like, I mean, it, it's okay if there's not like, if, like you know, eighty or seventy. I'll well, take. The water doesn't look quite <laughs> right. But don't be like, like cloudy or something. Do you see like, that? Oof. Yeah. Exactly. Ooh, it. They wouldn't even it need looks... to. Oh, oh, sorry. Other world, like in co-op. Okay, I don't know why I was thinking of like lore wise. Oh, and... Yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah, I'd, I'd assume so. Even if it is a lot, it's gonna be at least two, maybe even three. The water doesn't look quite <laughs> right. Like it's cloudy or something. Two worlds in you your that? own. Yeah. Exactly. It seems like Marina also realized something was off. Mm. Looks like she headed underwater to investigate. And what did she find? Oh, like like faces in that thing? A number of contaminated bacterial mats. Uh oh. Ew. Ew. Speaking. That looks of, creepy. There are always new things to discover beneath Fontamer. Oh no, no, that's not a face. In this update, we'll encounter a new oh, type think? of Fontamer aberrant, the xenochromatic ball octopus. Oh, give me that! Give me that thing everywhere I go, please. You know, water laser? Oh. Travelers can borrow its abilities to cleanse away the contamination clots Please. and contamination cores from the bacterial mats. Pretty cool. Let me have that everywhere in addition, underwater. With the help of a special device, travelers will be able to use this creature's abilities on the surface as well. They may be the key to solve. Travelers will be able to use this creature's Say, abilities on the surface as well. They may be the key to solve. Okay, so now let us use our combat underwater. Now. Solving certain puzzles or perhaps even powering certain objects. But we'll leave That'd that for you to discover. Ooh. To learn more about oh, the story boy. behind the new Erinius Forest region, be sure to check out the version 4.2 world quest called The Wild Fairy of Erinius. I'll give you a hint. Melazines oh. are involved. That's our next <gasps> big really? quest. Oh, Maybe. Then it would certainly be a world quest that you or want to learn in my place. Oh, no. <laughs> to the south of Erinius Forest, you'll find the... Ito Traveler Power Crap by a, a mechanic. There. A singular tower stands tall above Rip. an island in the middle of the sea. Perhaps. Sure, that should have been scaling. Yeah. Like just like a little laser, like not a new Valette blast, but like a little. Laser. It's also guarding some unspeakable. Secrets. That would be nice. Ooh. Actually, it looks Ooh. like that's the very next stop on Farina's itinerary. So let's go check it out. 
Okay, I bet a bunch of travelers noticed this tower since they've arrived in Fontaine. I'm so excited True, that we indeed. finally get to check it out. Sure did. Yes, same. Uh, yeah, in version 4.2, the sealed ruin tower is the focus of a quest series called Search in the Algae Sea. Ooh. I know. Algae. <laughs> and after unlocking four seals along its perimeter, the tower and its long buried secrets. There's like a bridge going to it, too. Us. Oh, amazing. Okay, it would feel great to finally demystify all the what secrets churning under the seemingly calm waters. Yes. I want answers. It's like no water in um, there. I also, <laughs> we all want answers. Um, I also heard this quest has something to do with the primordial sea. Hmm. It seems mm -hmm. like there's a very important and very ancient oh, story no. behind it all. That is very right. New stories are always unfolding in Fontaine, whether above water or below. And this is not limited to the two new regions in this update. The prophesied earthquake woke up new life forms in other places. Oh, there's the other one. Intersect. Oh. I do. Destinies. Destinies in certain underwater cave, a new life form is waking. A human shaped monster? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> From the agglomeration of, of countless drops of water, it has greater and more diverse powers of transformation while in combat. So don't let your guard down, travelers. Yes. Mm -mm. And some places still seem to tell the stories of events long mm. past, no matter how long they've been abandoned. I don't know where that even so is. So in this update, travelers can also oh, look forward to Jablinka? the climax of the Narcissan Croix adventure quest line that was introduced over the oh. last two versions. And there we go might back there again? even be an unexpected surprise waiting at the end. What? Mm. A surprise? Mm. I can't wait to see what it is. Okay. No, don't that do that to us, Amber. The last two versions. And there might even be an unexpected surprise waiting at the end. What? <laughs> a surprise! Hmm. I mean, you know, we we did get our way back into that, that area, so surely we, we'll go back there again. I can't wait to see what it is. Because it, it isn't, it's not a domain, so maybe we will be this? back there. Same. All right, there's a lot Grandma, to discover in the new in areas kitchen? of the map. But Farina's itinerary Boy. doesn't stop there. Oh wait, it looks like she's arranged to. Where, where was All that? Right. There's a lot to discover in the new areas of the map. But Farina's itinerary doesn't stop there. Dang, there really is a lot. Like just what what they're showing, it feels like it's a lot. Oh wait, it looks like she's arranged to spend some time with her subjects. Aww. Hmm, Farina is pretty personable. Who's to say? She might even hmm. make an appearance at the events taking place in Fontaine. Well, uh, of, if you have any Hydra characters, move on to the event probably can't use it against that boss. All right, the Fontaine Fishing Association has recently posted a commission oh, to investigate no. the rumors of water imps near Arrhenius Island. Oh, free Fremine. Wow, so if you didn't, uh, if you wanted Fremine, there you go. There's a the full Ooh, free one. Another investigation? I know. Ugh. Oh, and Fremine seems hmm. to be involved. That little clockwork giant penguin next to him must be one of his other companions. But it doesn't look like Fel Fel Actually, Fel Fel its name is Thelxy. The name comes from a Fontanian fairy tale that describes a terrifying creature that lives underwater. Hmm. Adults would use the story to keep children away from the shore. As the story goes, fish? children who play by the water Surprise, are food for Meet Thelxy Santa. to devour. Ooh, Hello. Yeah, for real. <laughs> well, Utterly children visible. must be pretty afraid of that creature. I know, right? It does seem afraid a little unusual for Fremenade to give this little penguin a name like that. There must be a, some other reason. That's an older hey, area. This says Aaron is. To do with yeah. this clockwork yep. penguin? Absolutely. In this event, we'll be helping Fremenade make some improvements to this little clockwork penguin. There will be a total hmm. of three main stages to the event. As for the first stage, it's gonna be like a voice we'll repair the penguin by fixing its circuits and reconnecting the motherboard. In return, the little guy will help us out on our journey. <laughs> oh, I Pretty love that. Cool. Okay, I like As this. As our journey progresses, we'll collect colorful shells, corals, and other items which this. can be used to outfit our little friend with weapons and equipment. Which brings us to the second I don't stage mind of the that. Event, using an echoing conch to search underwater and find the items that we need for the penguin. Hmm. Uh, you know, what oh. what happens if we run into certain speed bumps on our adventure? You know, like... Dude, I like that skill. And all that jazz. 
Please, they're going to put that new skill only in the new area, aren't they? Well, it seems like the perfect opportunity for a little penguin buddy to shine. Aww. Exactly. In the third stage of the event, the Clockwork Penguin will help us defeat Combat? monsters lurking around a specific domain and obtain any treasures that they may be guarding. Yep. Of course, the Clockwork Penguin domain and obtain oh any treasures goodness. that they may be guarding. Nahida, Nilu, Raiden, and <laughs> Nahida. Let's of go. course, the Clockwork Penguin will provide different Nilu, Hyper in Bloom. each battle to help travelers emerge victorious. Wow. Now, as for the story behind these battles, travelers will just have to find Nilu, out for themselves. Hyper Bloom. Let's go. Let's see. After helping the Penguin, the next item on the itinerary is... Honestly, oh. they could have at least used the E if they wanted, like... Well, no, they brought Aito anyways. Oh, the there. cute little fungi are back. Cool. Aww. I mean, yeah. you know, hey, you can put Nilu in a different team. Or I guess uh, a ring of hydro, but... <laughs> the friend we met in Sumeru has arrived in Fontaine. There's the design team, and then there's the people who do the playtest thing, and they're just like, oh, sure, I'll just do this. Ah, uh, yes, relatable. Awkward pick domain and obtain any treasures... Were those all trial characters? Oh, just two. Okay. You get two, and then... Let's see. I'm I'm waiting for the day where somebody slips up and they have like you see where it says my characters. I'm waiting for the day for someone to slip up and they have a leaked character in there. <laughs> like I'm just waiting for that to happen one day. Where you just see like Dane Slef sitting there and it's like, wait, what? Of course, the clockwork penguin will provide But knowing how Genshin works, they usually do like a in each battle to help travelers stop the clock you made a mistake. Whoa. Now, as for the story behind these battles, travelers will just have to find new out elements and reactions. Let's see. Need to get some brand new After passes. After helping the penguin, the next item on the itinerary is... is... Oh, the cute little fungi are back. Cool. Hania, a no. friend we met in Sumeru, has Stop. arrived in Fontaine to promote Lil Fungi's fantastic fiesta. Stop. And speaking of Fun, just the third guys, turn. I think I recognize some familiar faces. <gasps> Fungo head, oh it's my time goodness. to shine! Yay! It's the third Travelers comeback. Travelers may notice some differences in this update's fungi event. Aside from taking place in Fontaine, the gameplay Fungo has also back. been optimized. Previously, we led the little fungi in battle against Mechanicai. Lil this fungi. time, we'll have the opportunity to challenge a whole host of powerful monsters. Paimon. Awesome. Travelers will be able to command a variety of fungi, adjusting their movement to target different enemies. And don't forget to use marvelous gels to instruct the little fungi mm -hmm. to unleash powerful skills. Yeah! It's the third Travelers comeback, will hopefully boys. enjoy playing with the fungi I don't mind more it, than ever. But Here's I'm just surprised it's the we, uh, Actually, I have a little note here to third pass along one. from our developer friends. The like the way the event works, uh... Oh, the first way? Like when we had like the domains with like the tournament? With the Aimiko? <laughs> to make the little fungi and some other events permanent so travelers can play at any time. Oh, you're right. Yeah, because, like, we, yeah, we we were in the tournament. Like, we were actually, like, our character. We were running around with it. That's the right. The feels that the current design doesn't adequately sustain long-term game. The play. second and third so, time is, like, controlling it from top down. Optimizing yeah. and improving this event while also working hard to develop the first time we were actually that is relevant to the overall game. And there, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Content that is relevant. Opt doesn't adequately uh, permanent uh, long-term gameplay, so they're gonna continue. What the note says? Obviously, we left in place in Fungo Head. It's time to shine. Oh, yeah. this first one. Uh, old hey. Oh, <laughs> travelers may notice some differences in this update's fungi event. Aside hmm. from taking place in Fontaine, the gameplay has also Where's, been altered. Uh... Previously, we led the, the little fungi character. in battle against Mechanicai. The this NPC. Time, we'll have the opportunity to challenge a whole guy in battle. We gain one marvelous shell for every point you defeat. Against Mechanicai. This time, we'll have the opportunity to challenge a whole host of oh, new monsters. Mm. Awesome. Travelers will be able to command a variety of fungi, adjusting their movement to target different enemies. And don't forget to use marvelous gels to instruct the little fungi to unleash oh. powerful skills. Yeah! <laughs> Travelers will hopefully enjoy playing with the hmm. fungi more than ever. Here's Where's our Liven? We, uh, Where actually, is, I have a yeah. little note here to pass along from our developer. I might get him, like, later. The note. Oh, here's a note. <laughs> 
to make the little fungi and some other events permanent so travelers can play at any time, the team feels that the current design doesn't adequately sustain long-term gameplay. So, they're going to continue iterating, optimizing, and improving this event while also working hard to develop interesting content that is relevant to the overall game. Thanks, devs. I feel like we should get these little notes every live stream. <laughs> Hmm, they always give attention to when, like, people ask for one thing to be permanent. Like a event like this, like a different Thanks. gameplay event. All right. Okay, let's take hmm. a look at what else... Here I am saying the third rerun and they're talking about making it perfect. Farina's itinerary has in store... I mean, you know... I oh, it's the Graph <laughs> Adversarial fun. Technology Experiment Log! Basically, it does, uh... I said the game's not interesting enough, and probably will die like three days worth of gameplay, so they want to make it more interesting so it's not dry. Yeah, I can understand that. I'm just like, they don't want to put effort into another game mode if no one's going to play it. I'm. Yeah, you're ready in such a low More mode. than ready to fight some adversary. No, I guess they, they wanted it to stay, but um, yeah, they just said they're going to have it be periodic, but make some enhancements to Let it. Let me at him! <laughs> Let me out of I wish I could, but it doesn't actually involve fighting. A researcher obsessed with graph what? adversarial technology has made great contributions to the study of counter criminal image recognition. Take she more believes pictures? that her research can help her achieve great success. But her scholarly responsibilities make it difficult for her to collect the field samples that she needs. Mm, I'm so what's up to us? Where the traveler comes in. To whip <laughs> okay, out our camera. Wrong. Yep. <laughs> but Pauline's request is actually pretty reasonable. To Pauline. receive rewards, simply submit photographs of five different sample types that match <laughs> the characteristic that's given on each day. Sounds simple enough. You can also exchange these samples with your friends. You might be able to find useful references for the samples that you need to collect in the Adventure Archive. It's like that bird trap. At the end of the quest, travelers will receive a special gift from Pauline. Ooh. Mm. That's right. It's the oh, zoo the we mentioned during Charlotte's uh, character introduction. Oh, how fun. To use it, just click nice. the camera and activate the zoom lens in your inventory. The zoom lens can be attached to all cameras obtained in the game up to this point. When equipped with other characters, the zoom camera quality of life. won't be able to be used in combat, but. Who do that if they're going to make permanent gameplay? It gives the payment. Or I guess Prima Gem, so I have an attempt to come back and yeah, and play it again. You switch. Yeah, that would be nice because that that it really does give you more to of an incentive. Charlotte and hold your elemental skill. If it's that way, you'll be able to snap picks with zoom lens even while fighting. That's so they're in even destroyed in domains. Ooh. Double wow! Uh, oh my gosh, that's awesome! And I bet. Oh wait 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 wait! What do you say? Charlotte and hold your elemental skill. You'll be able to snap picks with zoom lens even while fighting. Wow. You can even use it in domains. They finally, they finally did it. Double wow! Uh, oh they finally the did it. Skill. You'll be able to snap picks with zoom lens even while fighting. Wow. You can they even use it in finally domains. Finally, did it. Wow. We can take pictures in domains. Turns out we did get some quality of life of this. <laughs> oh wait, that's a good question. Was it with Charlotte? When equipped with other characters, the zoom lens won't be able to be used in combat, but... No, it's a Charlotte exclusive. They can never just... Ugh, it's always the one thing. I, it... Well... Forget Feminine, Charlotte should have been the free one. You switch to Charlotte and hold your elemental skill, you'll be able to snap picks with... I bet you that was an accident, too. I bet you... Well, maybe... Zoom lens even out. while fighting. Wow. You can even use it in domains. I guess for the first three years, they knew what they were going to do with Charlotte. So that's why they kept it like that. See, they always got to find a way to make you... Pay to win, can't read Exactly. Uh, oh my gosh, that's awesome. Charlotte is a must pull, actually. And I bet travelers yep. will be able to capture some amazing moments. If you want to do that, mode too. Mm -hmm. and even that actually if you miss is that actually is true. If you do want to take pictures in domains and in combat, that actually is. Participate <laughs> in the event. There's no the first must pull. No of all need time to worry. Now, travelers but. will still be able to obtain.
That's so weird. Why would they? I mean, I guess it's kind of interesting that they gave it to Charlotte being the one that's all about cameras. But if you're going to give that ability, you might as well just give it to anybody who has the gadget. The right? zoom lens after the event ends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Better save me a lot of 4.2. Like in Hope Wars, they give yeah, Charlotte for free. That's what they should have gave her for free instead of Femme. No, oh, it seems like Farina has also. Yeah, that's that's just like, eh. I don't know. It's like the, the side of like exclusive to Charlotte, but at the same time, yeah, I said just made it for everybody. I was like, they finally did it, and then. To learn of the existence of a domain shroud. Let's need to do the quest of Charlotte on. Oh yeah, on our team. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess Charlotte's gonna have to be. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Travelers who master the leyline features and put mm. together. I, I didn't even see what Charlotte did actually. I we I, I sat there and watched it, but I don't even know what her role. The strongest party will be able to easily beat their opponents. Now less. Oh, what's this one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Missy Dungeon Travelers again. Travelers who master the leyline. Charlotte Charlotte's on first phase with Farina. Charlotte's on. If I can find it, yeah, first phase. So this is what it. Yeah, so what you're gonna. Gonna be looking at for, for phase one. Looking at two splendors, a Baiju splendor, a Farina splendor, and Farina, Baiju, Charlotte. Um, I want to say spoiler. I want to say it was Kali. It was at least a rumored one. Kali and Beto, or Beto, Charlotte, and I think Kali. Huge but boost. A new I don't actually know the third one. of tranquil waters will be featured Splendor. in the weapon event banner and Cute sword <laughs> okay. double oh she heals okay she heals oh yeah, that's right yeah, yeah, yeah healing bonus yeah she um she can get the uh yeah the fontanian thing yeah. wow uh oh my gosh that's awesome and i bet yeah. travelers will be able if to going for free now then amazing moments hopefully you can get <laughs> the Charlotte. and even if you miss the chance to participate yeah, that's that's exactly what I said. I said they they could have gave us Charlotte instead of. In the event, there's. If they were gonna do that, and they should have. No did that. need to worry. Travelers will still. Well, you know, it's always possible to get Charlotte from just a random poll or standard. They'll be able to obtain the whatever. zoom lens after the event ends. If you even care about the camera thing, I mean, if you don't really care about it. Oh, <laughs> it seems like Frida but, has also hey, learned of the like, existence why they, of a domain do like shrouded in mist. <laughs> <laughs> Travelers who master the leyline features and put together the I guess the Charlotte specific will be able to lore wise now less experienced travelers like uh, myself don't need to worry either using trial characters and taking advantage of the oh uh, yeah, that's right, by the yeah. they wouldn't do, they wouldn't have a free wasted. character at the same time as the band out on yeah. top that's right and travelers or oh like yeah like especially like a new character. are more confident in their combat skills was was Bennett on the one where he had his event? Can choose to I don't jump remember. straight to the final challenge. Ooh. Oh, is this the triple Z? Is that gonna be? Oh yeah, it did say twelve. Does it mean twelve like tonight twelve or twelve like tomorrow twelve? <laughs> also, mm -hmm. the Leyline Overflow event will return at the end of version four point two. Oh, oh yeah, I just yeah. I think Bennett was on the one a little bit ago. But Yayo had the, well, I guess Yayo was like the leeway, like you could pick which one. Now might be the perfect time to start building your parties. Oh, Hopefully. Don't worry, I use screenshot and domain. That's true. We do, we do, we do You're use all excited for the fabulous screenshot. events that version 4.2 has in store, but there are and... still more surprises. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kali had the, yeah, she was in the event. And yeah, those are banned. Yay! Oh, I <laughs> well, before we get into them, let's what? take a quick break to have a look at the final redemption <laughs> yeah, code for today. Yeah, we gotta like hold it. See you in a bit. Okay. <laughs> oh, let line overflow. Let's get into them. <laughs> Can choose to jump straight to the ley final challenge. Leyline overflow. It's bad. <laughs> also, the leyline. Definitely don't mind overflow. this at all, but uh, I don't, I don't know if I'll need it by the, the end, end of this version one. 4.2. Now might be the perfect time to start building your party. Darn it, Charlotte. I'm going to have to build Charlotte. Hopefully, 
you're all excited for the fabulous events that version 4.2 has in store. Cut out the bill, but Charlotte. there are still more surprises to share. <gasps> Yay! Oh, I let's know. Push. She's a cryo healer. Oh, well, before we get hmm. into them, let's what? take a quick break to have a look <laughs> at the final redemption code. I mean, yeah, I, I really lied to Layla, and I hope Charlotte can be kind of on par with that, but just in, like in the healer today, way. See but. you in a bit. Whenever we get Charlotte, level one will be uh, fine to survive. <laughs> one shot. Okay. <laughs> just one picture before I die. <laughs> one last shot. New code. It's probably expired. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I need an, another cryo healer. Well, I say another one. I built the shielder and... Oh, Mika. Welcome yeah. back, travelers. Okay, I just took a look at Lady Farina's itinerary, and it seems Although Mika has some good qualities the end. Aww, Aww. I know. So we've submitted our appointment request to Sir Intendant Cheval Moran. While we're waiting to hear back, yeah, I guess I'll let's try. see what system that. optimizations we have for the upcoming version. Let's oh, get into it. Oh, we have... Okay. Optimization. So the first up is the quick oh, we know challenge feature for weekly bosses. New players or players yeah. who prefer to spend their time exploring Dev may news. have yet to unlock certain weekly bosses. And it's difficult to raise new characters when you can't access the Exploring. boss drops needed to ascend a certain character. Totally. In version 4.2, nice travelers feature. who are at adventure rank 40 or above will have the option to quick challenge a weekly boss by navigating That's to the nice Travel's feature. Domain section of the Adventure Handbook. All weekly bosses will be available to challenge, wow. except Storm Terror and the Wolf of the North. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, now we well, don't yeah, have to I mean, wait to advance the story before get to we anyways. can level up a new character's talents and skills. Exactly. Now hit also, start so I can see the cutscene place. Oh. No. Okay. It's a genius invocation teaser. There's four freedoms in that art. Oh, I love that last one. Yeah. Is it like, I wonder if it's all, they're all different. I just took a look at Lady Farina's itinerary. Oh, and is Arlequino on the other Harry, side. And it seems we've... Her hand right here. Actually reached the end. Aww. Aww. So totally. we can jump Option start to, to boss, a weekly boss at AR4. Navigating to the challenge ECG. ECG is a lot faster. Cards the animations. And five new action cards will Ooh, Nilu, Baiju, and Dory. Be nice. There will also be an accelerate. Dory better have uh, new character cards and five new action cards will be added. Give me there energy. Will also be Full an energy. accelerate <laughs> dual feature, which will provide a smoother gaming experience. Energy and heals. Baiju should be. I guess maybe like a little, little bit of a shield, danger application. And then uh, I was kind of worried about Nilu. Oh, I don't know. Pretty cool stuff. After the version 4.2 update, deck sharing. Drip market, unmet limitation into, into a domain. And codes <laughs> oh, will my. also be available. Here, well, yeah, I guess once you're AR4. Use them to show off your strongest deck or take inspiration from codes will also be that? available. Use them to show. Oh, a code. I see. By the time it's working for three reasons. Go off your strongest deck. Ninja Catalyst. Healer. Or shielder. A smooth five new Sometimes they do leave a thing Station out. TCG. Of what a character's like. Using 4.2. Three new character cards. Uh, and five place new that would be. Will be added. But you there are right. Be Those all An three apply. Accelerate dual feature, which will provide a smoother gaming experience. Pretty cool. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Version 4.2. Three new character cards and five new action cards will be added. There will also be an Five accelerate dual feature, which will provide a smoother gaming experience. Okay, well, the accelerate dual, how's that going to work if you're playing multiplayer, though? I guess it's still not going to be an option. Pretty cool stuff. After the version 4.2 update. Yeah, because how could you accelerate dual if the other person is behind? Unless you just both can do it somehow. Deck but. sharing codes will also be available. Use them to show off sure. your strongest deck or take inspiration from... Looking forward to... I'm playing for three characters in 4.2. <laughs> Other travelers. <laughs> That's cool. That's awesome. Zinian and, wins. you know, since the number of card combinations just keeps increasing, the number of decks a time. player can save has been increased from 10 to 20. I want to see what what Nilo can D. do. Double. TCG. <laughs> Double. And it... Combination just level? keeps increasing. The number of mm -hmm. decks a player can save has been increased from 10 to 20. 
Doubled. Whoa. Doubled. <laughs> Double. And in addition, doubled. both the maximum number of starting. Oh, dang. He has the sprite. Bison has the And eat. the number of slots unlocked at each player level upgrade have been increased from two to four. Double again. Yeah. Double hmm. at each player Wait, level. What? Both the maximum number of starting slots and the number of slots unlocked at each player level upgrade have been increased oh, from okay. two to four. Double. Need to cast that all day, Fonte. It's in a crisis. What Fonte? Double. Crisis? Double. Double the again. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> the developers have also made a number. Listen, I'm in Mazda, right? Whatever's going on in Fontaine. Number of optimizations to the Genius Invocation TCG be. interface. Heated battle mode really know, and Forge Realm's temper, Endless Swarm, will I'm also return realm. in version 4.2. Ooh. And in it's addition back. to the updates made to Genius Invocation TCG, returning travelers will have ample login rewards and... Hey, that looks, that looks a, lot, a lot nicer. And exploration guidance, courtesy of the Genshin Impact Project team. May those returning to Devat... The Genshin Impact Project team? Have a happy reunion. Aw, that's Aww. nice. Yeah. Plus, Let me talk to a you guys. new story <laughs> key privilege has also been added so that returning travelers can enjoy new story quests and hang out. Oh, that's events. nice. Woo -woo. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. <laughs> Amazing. That's nice. Red notification dots have also been optimized. Notifications that have already been cleared will no longer reappear when logging in on a different platform. Yo. Oh. Oh, I see. I thought it was saying like you could like open it and it would go away. That's that's still fine though. You ever if you ever play like Genshin on your phone or like jump back to your PC, um, you'll have all the exclamation points for everything. So that, that's a nice quest touch. optimizations will also be available in version 4.2. If you play the, the game on one different pertains devices. to unlocking story quests. Travelers will now get to choose oh. whether to accept a story quest after unlocking it. Whoa, nice. Yeah, and that's useful. Hopefully, travelers won't be overwhelmed by a sudden influx of quests anymore. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that and all oh, day. Look at <laughs> the update. But well, now you're not going to just run into a quest. It has also made notifications about prerequisite quests even clearer, making it easier for players to proceed to certain content. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. Hello to my age account. Or <laughs> at some point. Because of the fact only one region. Okay, great. I announced this on the new cards a while ago. TLDR, Nilu's good, Baiju's good, but balance, the door is broken. Oh, uh -oh. and it seems like that's all we have for the latest version uh -oh. update. I guess that means it's the time line. for the 4.2 special. C6 minute red dot still there? Yeah, that's that's gonna oh, that be so beautiful. Program to come to a close. Oh, Take care about the story. I know. Yeah. <laughs> well, there is so much exciting stuff happening, and hmm. um, I know personally, oh, yeah. aside from all the intrigue around the story and characters, that was, that was actually I'm a, that was a good live stream. I want that very one. jazz for the fun guy events. <laughs> yes, how can you not be? They are keep on adding so much cool stuff to this game. For me, I love the idea fun of guy. the combat camera. Um, but uh, uh, for me and yeah. Monsieur Nabilet, uh, we are here you for the sure do. scenes. <laughs> Uh, well, this has been so much fun with both of you. I'm really so grateful we could all be here today together. And, um, and honestly, Sarah Miller I'm Cruz, really Amber Lee Collins, we're gonna get to see how all these mysteries and unfold. Ray Chase. Mm -hmm. And maybe, I don't know, maybe it'll have a nice ending mm -hmm. in 4.2. We'll have to see. <laughs> um, but that's it for the version 4.2 special program. <laughs> Old. Mm -hmm. And maybe, I don't know, maybe it'll have a nice ending in 4.2. We'll have to see. <laughs> um, but that's <laughs> it for the version 4.2 special program. Nope. Thank you so much, everybody, and see you all that in game. That was good. We got some, Bye. Bye. Got some quality of life. There's still some that are sitting on the bench, like uh, artifact-related stuff. They have talked about hopefully that'll happen in 4.3, I'm hoping. There's uh, Risley issues that still need to be addressed. Uh, we got a new boss, and of course, Farina. We have a so for or not Farina. Um, Charlotte has the Fontinian and non Fontinian passive, and she's the only one who can take pictures in domains. <laughs> Favoritism that is pretty thoughtful. That's she is, she is the case. That just shows how much Charlotte cherishes her own Monsieur Verite. It really so, does. Yeah, let me okay. go back. I kind of missed that. Let's go ahead and take a look at Charlotte's Lamar. They said here when and paired read with the thing. Fontaine characters, Charlotte receives a healing bonus. When paired with mm -hmm. my on Sandra again, surely I get a Sandra Charlotte next patch. Three days left for 
Oh yeah, you might actually. Yeah, I think you might. I end up getting one. Possibly. Especially if you plan to keep on watching on it. Uh, all right. Maybe is it after the patch is over? I'm not sure actually. I think it's after the patch is over. Three days left. They actually might just drop it like tomorrow night or something, or maybe like Sunday, or like super late. With non-Fontaine characters, by Amber she Lee, receives really well. cryo damage. You again on the future life. Now that is not all. There is oh. more. During the 4.2 well, special it's not event, Jover. travelers can complete a quest to receive a oh, special gadget though. called the Zoom Lens. It's after. When Charlotte uh. activates the Zoom uh, uh, Lens, Charlotte's see. elemental skills. Uh, Charlotte showcases their survivalry skills, dealing damage to opponents in the viewfinder and applying snappy solitude to them. During the Festeration, it will deal crowd damage to enemies at intervals. If you press and hold, it applies Focus Impression, which the last, it lasts longer and deals more damage. Strengthens these effects and applies Flash Field. That can join a lot in of and damage. The attack opponents during the duration of the ability. Monsieur Ver Use Flash Field that continuously restores mm. HP to party members within its range. Monsieur Verite, he's also going to join in and intermittently okay. attack opponents during the duration of the so it looks like Charlotte, hopefully she has a burst cast. Hopefully when you like cast your burst, it heals you by a lot. I'm hoping, but it does have like a healing the ability as well. So. As an experienced reporter, Charlotte is an expert at adapting her methods to match the needs of her. But it looks like they kind of want you to give her some kind of damage because there's a lot of, a lot of damage in her kit. When paired with Fontaine. Looks like this was delayed, we would have the teaser already. So it's most likely. Yeah, that's true. I'd be playing a drug teaser the character after Charlotte the program. receives a healing bonus. When Could paired with non-fighting characters, she receives a cryo damage right after. bonus. Now that is not all. There is more. <laughs> During the one in the background just like sigh. The 4.2 special event. It's Travelers like, can uh... complete a quest to receive a special gadget called the Zoom Lens. Ooh. When Charlotte uh, activates well. the Zoom Lens, it will trigger her passive talent called First Person Shutter. Oh. Gosh darn you, shall When you amazing. hold her elemental shall skill, <laughs> the gadget will cause you to enter photo mode instead. That is hmm. passive talent called special event. Travelers can look at our faces on the side though. Quest to receive a special <laughs> gadget called. I don't know. It's so weird to see Charlotte just like run around because I'm so used her to seeing her eye catching mementos. Well, at first I thought she really was just like just going to be an NPC for some reason. And then Farina. I know more about the skills shown in that clip. So Amber Liter, Mademoiselle Cavaletta, Amber Lee. Sir Intendant Cheval Moran, and Gentilhomme Usher to the stage. I love it. I it's love so her charm cute. attack. <laughs> um, and, you know, these um, salon members will hmm. attack nearby opponents. So based off of what they said here, it seems like she does a lot of things, but it looks like it's mostly within her HP burst. Amount. Okay. Oh, and then yeah, she's like positive, negative. Like if you, you gotta take away the HP of your other character. I was listening to all that, but at the which basically makes the hunter set usable on almost any other character. Top, you if she's in the team, usually <laughs> defaults to an Usia Arca alignment. Well, you might need. Maybe that's why they have Charlotte there, because like they really want you to have a healer. Yeah, because the Farina team's gonna be really dangerous. If Rina, it depends on how much she takes, but if she takes a bunch of HP, if she has like the HP drain, you're probably going to not be playing at full health. So she has more time. than one alignment? Yes, exactly. Farina's hmm. charged attack not only deals physical damage, but also allows her to switch between Usia and Numa Arca alignments. Whoa. Oh, it is Usia. Wow. Mm -hmm. Based on what we just saw, it seems like her Arca alignment has an effect on her other skills as well. Yes, sure does. Hmm. Farina's elemental skill changes yeah. depending on whether she is aligned with Usia. Oh, her animation. That's yeah, I thought that was like a live stream thing. Cool. But that's super cool. Uh, after Farina yeah, uses I her think charged that's attack actually to switch in the game. Numa Arca <laughs> alignment, her elemental skill that's summons like, the singer hmm. time even really after gets Farina in the way is of your... switched out. Farina's yes, elemental great. burst deals damage to surrounding opponents. And there's like and people at the, the bottom too. HP increases or decreases. It's cool. It's a cool start. But... Yeah, that's a uh... unfair point. Man. 
<laughs> That's my trumpet. Um, Amazing. <laughs> that is interesting. So, um, Farina increases the damage and the incoming healing bonus. That, I bet they're going to probably change that or something. I think they might change that. Maybe not before it goes live, but like have some kind of option Bonus or something. Of nearby party members based on the amount of fanfare she has. That's, wow, it yeah. seems like this fighting style really suits Frida's It's like character. visual it's quarter. showy and ugly. Put that up, Kazuo Burst and Frida Burst and some red and blue team. Oh, it's over. Totally. I can already it's see over. the fluctuations in my team's HP bar. <laughs> that One thing I give uh, credit for with Genshin is they do a great job of like the, having the the game run fine with, with all the stuff skill happening. might come in handy. Yeah, for real. Like and, there's like a million um, things on screen and it just runs fine. Aberrance, Farina's passive talent. So it's like a team's HP bar. <laughs> that healing skill might oh, come in handy. Yeah, animation. for real. It's very showy and unpredictable. Oh, wait. Totally. I can already see the fluctuations in my team's HP bar. <laughs> that healing skill might come in handy. He was showing his yeah, heal. Yeah, for real. And um, due to her knowledge oh, no, 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 no. of deep water aberrants, Frina's passive talent can decrease well, apparently Frina has a bunch of passives, or at least two. Aberrants. Ooh. Wow, two different that on top of the yeah. normal <laughs> And that'll make it even easier to uncover the secrets mm. lurking in She can the use depths. animals oh, underwater. <laughs> lurking in the depths! <laughs> Oh, and I almost <laughs> forgot, um, whenever one of Farina's summons is on the field, mm. Farina gains the yeah, you mean like the water field? walk on water. Oh my gosh, wow. that is so cool. <laughs> that I, yeah, I'll Wait. be honest, I didn't see this. I mean, I can say I thought maybe it'd be cool for the, the Archon to do this, but I figured since Kokomi could do it, they wouldn't bother. Meanwhile... Um, I actually she can't saw that Farina's outfit changes whenever she switches between Arca lines. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good eye. You're correct. You. It does oh. change. But, you know, such is the time of a celebrity, I suppose. <laughs> okay. Well, that explains that, then. Okay. I mean, they'll hopefully there'll be, like, a, a lower reason behind it, too. But, yeah. So, depending on what alignment you're in, your outfit will change. Uh, so okay. <laughs> That's actually pretty sick. Yes. Hey, um, I actually saw that Farina's outfit so i'm assuming numa is it the black whenever she switches between our color and osa yeah. is the white yeah good eye you're correct you. it does change <laughs> but you know such as the time yeah of celebrity, okay I suppose. Mm. Uh, that's cool then you kind of get like a free outfit